Well, China is setting its official growth target around 5% for the year, projecting a confident front to global investors. However, China's premier is acknowledging the GDP target will, quote, not be an easy reach, alluding to potentially more government intervention as the country works to combat a slew of issues such as a property crisis, deflation and debt woes. And Akiko, President Xi Jinping does seem to be a little bit reluctant to, to really take a stronger hand when it comes to stimulus, because we, as we look at some of the market reaction, they don't seem to be that convinced that enough is being done to combat what we're seeing, especially with deflation in China. Yeah, I mean, with that said, we did get some announcements um, from the legislative session that's been playing out over in Beijing about additional measures um, the government's likely to take, uh, looking specifically at urban unemployment, targeting 12 million new urban jobs. But what's interesting to me is this part about foreign direct investment. So the premier over in China saying that China would drop more restrictions on FDI into the country and then scrap the ceiling that's been placed on foreign investment into the manufacturing sector. And I mention this because you have to wonder how, you know, by dropping some of those restrictions, does that necessarily mean that foreign investment is going to start to flow into China again? Last year, we hit a three-year low. We've heard, you know, from so many business leaders who've talked about this reluctance to invest in the Chinese market. So that's going to be an interesting, to wa- interesting one to watch, even if the Chinese premier is saying this is one of those stimulative, stimulative measures we're hoping to push forward. And it's true. And, and having that GDP target of 5%, g- given that this is not the same uh, economy that we're used to seeing here, obviously consumer demand has slowed down in China. And you've seen a lot of companies with multinational exposure to China really starting to diversify away from the country. Obviously, when you think of your, your apples, for example, but still obviously a, a strong hold here in China. But some, some caution, at least when you look at some of the geopolitical issues that are making diversification away from China still looking attractive as well, Akika. Yeah, and they've got so many domestic challenges, whether it is the collapse that we've seen in the property market, youth unemployment rate, um, that has still remained elevated despite some of that coming down as well. So a lot to watch there. Obviously, um, it is the world's second largest economy and certainly going to be a big impact regardless of what they do into the U.S. as well.